Hey everyone, today I'm gonna welcome you into the kitchen with me and we're gonna be breaking down my grocery order and I'm gonna be showing you and talking to you about how I shop to save money and get the best bang for my buck on the carnivore diet. I know sometimes when people think about maybe switching to this diet or giving it a try or even just adding more meat into their diet, finances can be an issue. Sometimes we think, okay, I have to eat a steak every day or I have to eat a ribeye every day in order to do the carnivore diet. And I just wanna show you today that that's not the case. You can eat a lot of variety and you can really eat very affordably, getting a lot of great nutrition for a very reasonable cost in my opinion. A couple videos back, I did a complete breakdown of just my consumption and how much it costs me to eat this way per day. I usually eat for well under $10 a day, eating even uh, just a beef, bacon, butter, and egg, the BBBE um, style eating of carnivore. Today I'm gonna be showing you things outside of that, but that's a good video to check out if you want to see the like breakdown per ounce and how much everything costs based on three different portion sized meal plans to get an idea there. So right now I get most of my groceries from Walmart and I know people have their complaints about Walmart and whatever quality things are, but I'm showing you this because again, if you are, are scared to try this way of eating because you think that you can't afford it, I'm here to challenge that today and show you that you can eat very well and eat a carnivore diet, um, shopping at whatever you have access to and getting the best quality that you can afford. So first I have my latest order pulled up and I'll give you the exact prices for everything I have here. And then I'll talk about what I'm gonna make it into and then we'll get to uh, the fun part, breaking this up and getting it prepped for the week. So I have a half pork loin here. This uh, is going right now for $2.47 a pound. And so this loin came out to $7.74. I've actually already cut two chops off of it for breakfast this morning. So this isn't even the entire uh, thing here, but I'm gonna be cutting this all into pork chops because Ben loves those and he eats those a lot for breakfast with some eggs versus if I was to buy some pork center cut loin chops, boneless family pack, already sliced and packaged out for me. The average price those are going for right now is $5.04 a pound. And so you can see just by buying this whole and slicing it yourself, you're saving, I'll do the math and put it up here. I was gonna say 50%, but that's pretty close. So really, no matter how you slice it, you're saving a lot of money by just buying the loin and slicing it yourself. So we're gonna be doing that. Next up, we have this roll of ground beef. And I made one video where I showed you that I just basically chop this, this sucker down and bag it up and then freeze anywhere from two to three pounds per gallon size Ziploc freezer bag. And then I just pull one of those out every day or two as we go through it. I eat mostly ground beef right now, along with some butter. And, but again, I'm gonna be making some different things this week. So this one right now is $32.29, uh, 329 a pound is what it works out to be. And if we type in ground beef, not buying in bulk, this is for the 80-20 again. Um, if you're just buying like a two and a quarter pound tray, these are going for $4.94 a pound. I'm even seeing a one pound tray for sale here for $5.37 a pound. And so and that's all for 80-20. So you can see literally just by buying these big rolls, you're saving a lot of money. And this is so versatile. You can make so many different things out of ground beef. Um, next are these chicken drumsticks. Now I have plans to make some of the drumsticks in just the form that they're in, probably gonna throw them in the crock pot and then finish them off in the oven. And I had plans to make some of them into some shredded chicken so that I can use that for a different recipe. And then of course, anything that I shred, I'm gonna save the bones and put those in a freezer bag for probably in a few months or more from now when it cools down and I start getting back into making more broths and soups and bone broth and things like that. So I'm not gonna waste anything here. And then I'm also gonna take some of these and I want to try to grind them down. I just recently invested in a meat grinder and I think that is something that if you're getting into this diet and you wanna save money, that's actually a good investment to make 
because you can buy some of these larger, cheaper, perhaps tougher cuts of meat and you can grind them down and mix and match and make all kinds of things out of that. And then the last section, I'm going to remove the skins and make um, crispy chicken skin chips. I think little one's gonna like those. I've actually never tried them and I'm super excited about that. And then I'll probably grind the rest of them too. So this was so affordable. This five pound bag of chicken drumsticks from Walmart was $1.19 a pound. So it was $5.97 for this whole bag. And again, I'm gonna get three different uses out of this. And so that's really cool to me. Let's quick compare this to some ground chicken because um, like I said, I wanted to try this carnivore pizza recipe with the chicken crust, which I've never made. And I thought, oh, I'll just pick up some ground chicken in my order this week, but it's $3.42 a pound. And I don't need a ton of ground chicken. I just need enough to try this recipe. And so I thought, hey, maybe I can grind my own now that I have the meat grinder. So instead of spending $3.42 for only one pound of ground chicken that I can only use in that one way, I have five pounds here for $5.97 that I can make for three different meals or maybe two meals and a snack, I guess if you count the chicken skins as a snack. So these are just some examples of how to think when you're shopping and try to find the biggest bulk cut that you can and then think about and do some research about how you can break that down and what you can make out of those things. And for me, this is actually kind of the fun part about meal prepping and preparing a carnivore or a meat-based diet for myself and my family is that it is interesting to try to find different ways to cook different meats, to try to get the best bang for your buck and be a little creative when it comes to how you're processing things. So the only downside of doing this, obviously, is it's gonna take more time. So a lot of times it's easier to just pay for the convenience if we can and have things prepared, you know, so that they're easy to make. So I try to find a balance of that. I buy some things like this ground beef that I know I'm just going to basically throw in a pan and it's done. But then some of these other things do take a little bit of time to break down and, and package up so that they are easy to go. Um, but overall, carnivore meal prep is super simple and I enjoy spending time in the kitchen. I like preparing food and I like you know, preparing things for my family to eat. So I enjoy doing this and I like to listen to some lectures or listen to some carnivore content while I'm doing this, follow some of my favorite creators and listen to their stories and stuff. And so I find it very a very fun time. So let's get into breaking these down and I'll show you how I do that and package it all up.
Thank you.